Hello, in this video I'll demonstrate how to measure your ECG and uh, PTT abnormality test for your heart rate using a Sparx 84 smartwatch. So there are two ways to measure your ECG. The first one is through the watch itself. So basically to uh, do this test, uh, scroll uh, from the right to the left up until you see ECG, um, long press, and once it starts, hold your fingers on the bezel of the watch like that. Make sure that you are firm. And if you see lead off message appears, uh, it means that you are not firm enough. So make sure that you hold firmly. It starts with an initial reading like that, 73, which is um, a good um, rate for the heart, but wait until you are done. Should take a few seconds and also shows you how much is left right almost there All right, test is complete. Now, so the heart rate is 73. Uh, now, this ECG on the watch, uh, you will not be able to sync the information from the watch to the app. Now, what I recommend is that you measure your ECG on the app itself. Um, it's very easy. So to do this, just uh, on the dashboard on each band um, app, scroll down uh, up until you see um, ECG, hit this part, and then start testing and play and then again uh, place your fingers on the bezel and then it will start measuring your ECG and as you see here on the app on the very top you see the heart rate uh, QT interval and HRV or heart rate variability and these uh, fluctuate up until the test is complete. So uh, stay still up until the test is complete. And it also shows you how much is left. Okay, now the test is complete. Now make sure to save the data. And then you see the results here on the top. Uh, heart rate, um, QT interval, and then HRV. Then to see the um, the details, uh, go back and go to um, ECG test. Now, uh, two that I uh, measured before, this is the last one, you hit this one. Now you see here uh, the details. So heart rate 68, um, QT interval 407 and heart rate variability 63. Um, if you are not sure what that what that is, so for example, QT interval, so you hit this one, it gives you here the range, the reference range, like for example, from 300 to 450, and uh, it shows you whether it's normal or high or low. And it also gives you explanation for what the QT um, interval is and you can do this uh, with the other tests and also here shows you the analytical result um, for if you have any potential um, uh, diagnosis then it would be uh, shown here and also the beauty about this is that you can see uh, the form here in a in a full picture um, you can if you click here um, and then you can also play here You can uh, play it um, if you want to, to review, to see what uh, what it looks like. And then there is uh, this waveform report. If you click this one, then you would be able to see the results in this way, which is uh, just basically like the medical report that you would receive for your ECG. All right, so this is the um, way how to measure your uh, ECG report on uh, the watch itself and on the app. 
Now, how to measure your PTT uh, abnormality test. Now, uh, to do this test, uh, you will take the watch off and then you will simply take the band off here. I uh, will put them aside and we will use this um, base. Uh, when you place the watch into the base, make sure that the, this um, the battery uh, thing, that it's aligned with this little mark here, as you see. And put this one, place it here, boom. And then to measure the test again, you will start with here with the app. You will go to the dashboard and start here uh, on the dashboard. So to measure the test, basically you will scroll again up until you see this uh, PTT uh, function. And then long press and pay attention here what will pop up on the, you see this one? It just popped up now. So when it's measuring like that, that it means that this is ready to measure your PTT. So you will hit this one and it will start. Before you start holding this one, you need to hit start recording and yes, start recording. And then you will hold the smartwatch or the base like this firmly. And then it will start capturing the um, your ECG or your PTT abnormality test. Now, the difference between the two tests is, is that the PTT uh, abnormality test shows not simply the heart rate, for example, or heart rate variability, but it shows it captures any abnormality. Like, for example, if there is a variation in the time between the heartbeats or if the QT interval is sometimes relatively high or relatively low. All these are captured by the PTT uh, test. In order for you to get uh, data or full report for your uh, PTT abnormality test, uh, you should hold this, uh, uh, the base or the test for six minutes. And then you will sync uh, the data from the watch uh, to the app. After six minutes, the app will tell you that the report is ready. So after six minutes, you can just simply stop at any time. You can leave the watch and relax and end recording. That's it. And then end recording, say yes, end recording. And there you go, you have the report. So now in order to stop because it keeps buzzing, you just um, go back and then cancel. Now in order for you, this will keep um, you know flashing like this up until you switch off the measuring uh, feature from here. So say exiting up until five seconds and then voila, then this should, um, then okay, I left it before five seconds, but uh, keep holding for five seconds up until this one uh, disappears like that okay now uh, to see the reports scroll down to ecg um here and so you will see the ecg which you did before but then this is the ptt um test you will hit this one and then you will hit here again and this is the, the report so basically here you will see the ECG, you could um, you could play around with it to see if it, there's any abnormality uh, just visually. But now here, the beauty is that this test shows you any uh, relatively high or relatively low data. So this is the heart rate and it shows you uh, the maximum, the minimum, and also the average. And um, if it's relatively high or relatively low, it would be shown by um, like a different color and you have the different colors here down. And in this case, it's like my um, average 64, which is normal. Now here, the heart rate variability, it also shows you if there is any uh, abnormality, but in this case, um, it's normal also. Maybe if you see here in the um, QT interval, uh, there's a little bit here, uh, relatively high and here um, at the end relatively um, high 
uh, but other than this, most of the time it is uh, normal. So it shows you if there is any abnormality sometimes and it also gives you um, like uh, an overall diagnosis and in this case uh, sinus rhythm, for example, maybe because I was uh, talking at the same time, it's associated with uh, breathing and uh, of your nerv nervous or so. Um, so uh, so this is basically uh, the way how you synchronize your data from uh, uh, from the smartwatch to the uh, to the app. Uh, so the beauty of the PTT, uh, which is an advantage of the PTT over the uh, ECG, is that you can see you can capture any abnormality in the heart rate. All right. So these are the two ways. Um, there is another way to measure the PTT, and this is why we include the stickers, uh, the electrodes in the package. So you basically would use the stickers, put them here, and place the whole thing uh, on your chest, and you can uh, measure your uh, PTT 24-7 if you want to. Uh, but for simplicity, we will use the... Um, the watch base. So these are the two ways to measure your ECG and the two ways to measure the uh, PTT abnormality test. Um, uh, if you have any questions about uh, how to measure them or you need uh, more help about that, just um, reach out to us and we will do our best to help and support you. All right. Thank you so much.